Need some roadside assistance? It's time for the Pike Breakdown Lane on 100 FM, the Pike. Do it every Friday. Play your messages from the Breakdown Lane, and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Good morning, fellas. On the subject of people taking way too long to figure things out, um, when I was in my early 20s, I knew a girl who was also in her early 20s who thought the National Guard was one person, like the National Guard. <laughs> so, of course, I was like, yeah, he's a wicked busy guy. All that stuff he's got to do. Rock on. Happy Friday. I think we talked about that yesterday, right? People like who thought a birthday suit was an actual suit you wore yeah. on your birthday. And then the, uh, the guy who thought hump day meant uh had nothing day, to do with the, the day of the week. that you did it the day the day that you humped yeah. and then he got offended by people saying it in his office and someone thought R- rhode island was actually an yeah, island they didn't learn it wasn't an island until they were 53 yeah there was something that i did <laughs> learn that was on that list though that a quart is a quarter of a gallon i didn't i never knew oh that. really yeah i didn't know what you a know, quart was i just thought it was a unit of measurement <laughs> i didn't know that until i i think i was in like middle school and the only reason why i learned it was watching a Marx Brothers movie. Really? Yeah, really? because um, some it was a, I forget which one it was. It was some reporter talking to Groucho Marx, and uh, he said something that Groucho had said, and he said, and quote, 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 and he goes, add another quote, and you'll have a full gallon. And my dad is, like, laughing, you know, his butt off. I'm like, I have no idea what that means, and he explained to me that there's four quarts in a gallon. Um, I was like, oh, and then I was like, well, that wasn't that funny. Yeah, see, if I heard that, I wouldn't know it was a joke because it's too smart for me. So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned something from that list. Hey, Shu, how you doing? This ended over there in Massachusetts, stuck here in New York. It's okay. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. I uh, just want to say you guys rock it. I'm glad I'm able to stream it because I do miss listening to the Pike in the Morning with your show. It's awesome. And, you know, nod to uh, your psychic there with you. <clears throat> but uh, I just wanted to say, uh, put out a long-distance request ah. like Casey Casey needs to do when I see you smile by bad English mm. for that dance portion of your show. Thank you. That's how you make a request. Yeah. The slow butter up and then the request. Yeah. Right there. Steve Arino used to do that, but then now he's, he, he thinks he can just push us around. <laughs> when he says he's stuck in New York, is he in traffic? I, don't, I mean, most uh, likely. There's, pro- there's a lot of traffic there. Yeah. I can understand. I guess. It could take a minute. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he's listening on that Pike app. You can listen to us anywhere in the world. Is we he will, stuck uh, in jail? I mean, why is he? We will get uh, any we'll, more info. We'll get that bad English request on for you since you buttered us up so nicely. Hi, Mike Zhu. Alex Jones here. I was calling because Hillary Clinton is causing traffic problems in the Commonwealth. She is behind the design of the new Mill Street parking (laughs) and the bike lanes that were funded by George Soros and the other lizard people. And they're putting rattlesnakes in the back seats of cars (laughs) as a distraction so that nobody notices that Mick Jagger is walking around the North End looking for another place to set his second Coconut Grove fire. He was there at the Coconut Grove fire. He was born the same year, and he is also a lizard person. I mean, seriously, look at Mick Jagger. He's a lizard person. He looks like a lizard, and so doesn't the rest of his band members, and they're all trying to bring back the Coconut Grove fire. Was he born the same year as the Coconut Grove fire? I Uh, um, I mean, he's old. he was spotted yesterday uh, afternoon walking around in the North End. That makes sense. He like he likes to do that now. He does little Instagram videos in every city he goes to. He's kind of walking around, hanging out, trying to be low key as Mick Jagger can can be. But um, in the Stones played Gillette last night. I yeah. Nothing but good reports so far on on uh, people who Did went to that show. Did you see the video of the people who were there in the parking lot dancing and like in? It, it, there were some. I mean, people in their eighties. There were some oh, yeah. old people. Yeah, yeah. I, believe, I saw it at Neil like Young. A, it looked like a senior center bus pulled <laughs> yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, I, you know the Stone shows I've been to have been like that. It's it's been it's cool to see a whole family though, and it was yes. like that at Neil Young. You got the dad, the mom. They're wearing their old shirts that they got in like the eighties or whatever, and then yes. the kids are wearing the, the new, child, the, the new grandchild, shirts and you know they're hanging out, the great grandchild, yeah. having having a great time. The new them, shirts so. that say the eighties on it. That's yeah, right. yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. not real. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for your uh, calls and your messages here on the Pike Breakdown Lane. Remember, we'll never call you back. We'll never sell your information. You can call the Pike Breakdown.